Do you, you probably don't like it when people call you a celebrity chef, do you? Did you see my face? Yeah, well, out of the corner of my eye. That's why I did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the world we live in right now, isn't no, it? No, no, I realize that. But, um, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think it's one of those things that, that um, people think you, you're on TV more than you're in your restaurant. And, and, and that's uh, not what you want, that's is really it? That's really not what I want. Your, yeah. your safe space, your uh, san uh, sanctity is, is in, it's in, that, in that kitchen, isn't no, it? No, definitely. In the kitchen, surrounded by my team, for sure. But the last few years, you've also been in business, uh, in boardrooms, uh, uh, looking at plans, architecture, all kinds of things. It started with your baby marble, and now people are thinking that you need to ha have your head Red because you've opened another huge restaurant that's got all the tongues wagging. Why have you started doing what you're doing right now? <laughs> I, my partner, I can just blame my partner, Gary. Mm. Um, I, I was at the, at the Saxon four years ago, mm. um, just over four years ago now, uh, quietly minding my own business and he walked in and he said he's got this concept, which was marble at the time. Mm. Um, we opened marble, uh, which, was a, which was a hell of a thing for me. You know, it, uh, it didn't go well in the beginning. Um, I had to find my feet, uh, the product that we were using, the way that we were cooking it. There were mm -hmm. lots of lots of challenges. And it was, and a, it was a totally new restaurant. concept, wasn't yeah, yeah. it, for Absolutely. the South African market? Absolutely. Cooking over open fire, but in a fancy way. <laughs> yeah, in a fancy way, but, uh, but incredibly rewarding. Yes. When everything came together and Joburg was patient, patient. <laughs> <laughs> Joburg was patient with us. Mm. Um, they gave us the chances and, and, and they've supported us throughout. And yeah, we, on our travels, trying to find and put marble together, um, we saw this concept in, in New York and a little bit in, in London, a couple of restaurants that we saw. And we said, you know, like if there's ever a time we should, we should really do, should do this. And that's how Saint sort of came about. Tell, tell our viewers what the concept behind Saint is. So Saint essentially is, uh, uh, what we saw was, a, was pizza and, and champagne. Mm. And uh, it was a, we were sitting at this restaurant in Manhattan and uh, Alexander Wang walked in with a troop of models. Wow. And they sat down and they were drinking champagne, eating pizzas, and it was just, it was just very, very chilled. It was, not, you know, like, you know, not being pretentious, it wasn't glamorous or anything. It was just, everybody was just chilled and having a good time, you know. And the space was, was, uh, was beautiful space, but not over the top. It mm. was just, it was accessible to everybody. And that's exactly what Saint is. Saint is the most incredible space, but it's accessible to everybody. I think what we've done with Marble and with Saint is that we've given people food that they recognize mm. in an incredibly beautiful environment. But That's a relaxing so true. Environment. I've never thought about it that way. Because yeah. marble is meat, which in South Africa is, you exactly. know, it's what we do. Yeah. And you're cooking it over a, an open fire, but in an innovative way. And yeah. it's in a fantastic environment. Yeah. And the same with Saint. I was able to be there on your big opening night. And I walked, as I walked from this fabulous, uh, glamorous bar into the restaurant area, I literally stood till my mouth hung open because of just the, the way it's been put together. You've got um, an artistic ceiling with the lights that change. And then when I got to the food side, I was like, oh, but I recognize all of yeah. these things. But the ingredients that you use yeah. is like on the next level. So uh, that's a great way of putting it. How important is, are those little things? Well, not the little things, the important things, the ingredients, who cooks it, how they are trained, how, how they present it. How important are those things for you? Look, it's everything. Um, you know, the, the team that I'm surrounded by is, uh, is everything to me. You know, and the way that they look after the product, uh, um, the way so they intense. prepare, yeah, <laughs> the way that they prepare the product is, is everything. You know, you can walk into a very beautiful space and be, and be wowed, but if the food is average, then, uh, then you've got a problem, you know. And essentially, eating has become, eating has become, and eating out has become more than just food. And, and that's really what, what, what Marble and Saint is about. It's an experience. You know? It's an experience. And I can tell you, you know, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful feeling when you're standing behind the kitchen. I, I, my comfort zone is in the kitchen. Yes. You know, and I, when I'm on the floor, I, I get a little bit uncomfortable. So I get into the kitchen and I watch people arrive. And, you know, I think well, the one thing that we must always understand is not everybody travels and not everybody can travel. Not everybody can Absolutely. see the world, you know. And, and like, we've just brought a little bit of the world to, to Joburg and Joburg deserves it. Mm. Joburg deserves this. This is a dynamic city. This is a city with energy, and it deserves something like Saint. It's funky. We've got these incredible projections that change all the time. Um, so it's this, this dining experience that is ever-changing, but 
um, but very rewarding in a way as well. Now you took the plunge leaving uh, Cape Town, which is supposed to be sort of the foodie capital of South Africa, if not of the region. And you took the plunge before anybody re really else did. That was sort of in your of your peers moved up to Johannesburg, and now there's like a flood of fabulous restaurants opening, top yep. chefs, Ruben Ruffle has just yep. opened one as well. You had a couple of, of chefs at your launch um, and I thought that was quite cool because it seems there's a camaraderie around you that um, the, the food world really wants Joburg to, su to succeed. Are it you to encouraged succeed. by that? Yeah, it has to succeed. Mm. We need more of this. Mm. You know, we want more of this and, and, and the fact that we can do this uh, and succeed is, uh, is incredible. You know? Now tell me about the positioning of Saint. Why did you decide on that venue in Santon? Well, it was offered to us. <laughs> it was actually offered to us as we opened Marble. Um, it was that long ago, um, two years ago. Oh, two years away. Yeah, can you believe <laughs> it? And uh, the guys were saying, okay, it's the new village walk development. It's called. Oh, I don't, they didn't even have a name then. Um, and Gary, you know, Gary's got a. Uh, Gary's got an eye. You know, entrepreneurs have an eye, and they Absolutely. have a, They have this gift. You know. And he just said to me, and I was very skeptical, he'll tell you. And I just said, just Gary, you know, weekends is very quiet there. You know, mm. you know, what do people do there Saturdays, Sundays? There's not much going on. And I used to live in the area, you know, so mm. I, I sort of knew what was going on. But you know, the bottom line is if there's an offering uh, and it's good and it's an experience, people will come. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. And there's, a, there's this great vibe around the, the old village walk and the village walk you know uh, was always a place to go to everybody always spoke about it seven years ago when i got to Joburg, it still existed i couldn't believe it was the yeah. same place um, yeah. uh, when, when we went there, but you're right opposite or right near, uh, 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 and what I read about it is that it, it's got this node because you've got the Gau train, you've got the Joburg Stock Exchange, exactly. so you've got all of that very important traffic whose eyes will light up at this new place yeah. as well. You've also spent a lot of time looking at sort of the look of the place, the, the, what uh, your staff is wearing, the music, also very important. Um, uh, when I was there on launch night, it was like you were in a club, but you're eating fabulous food, <laughs> but it's probably not going to be like that every night, surely. Well, we wanted to be we wanted to be funky. Yeah, you know? we've we've spent um, I don't want to say we spent a lot of money, but we've invested a lot in 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 technology. Mm. Uh, we have these projections on the roof that that uh, in the bar and in the restaurant that, um, as I said, ever changing, um, all experiential, um, to add to to the dining experience, you know, and add to to your to your experience when you come, and. Um, yeah, the, the bottom line is that, that uh, we want people to come out, uh, we want people to have a good time, mm. and we want people to feel that, they, that they've got value for their money as well. I think that's very important. And with you being your safety space, being in the kitchen, you obviously want the food still to be front and center as well. Um, what, what to you makes you happiest when it comes to the food that you prepare in the places where you work compared to the food that you prepare at home? I think it's the... The, the main thing for me is the, um, it always comes back to the people that I work with. Mm -hmm. When you see young chefs around you sort of taking, taking on what you say and, and growing and, and, uh, and taking charge. You know when we, when we start, I've got this lovely story, this young guy by the name of Bonga from the Eastern Cape and he worked at a, at a Nando's, there was a griller at a Nando's in the Eastern Cape. He now runs the pass with us at, uh, at Saint. He came through the ranks at Marble, and he's now on the pass plating with us at Saint. And I think those stories, you know, um, are, are the stories that, that keep you in the kitchen. Uh, and that's why I love cooking, um, and um, to see the growth of, of these youngsters. At home, it's a, a very different story. When you me. have the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I just uh, again, I love cooking on fire, you know, so mm. there's always a braai going if, uh, if, uh, if I'm at home. Uh, and breakfast. Like breakfast is a big thing for me. Eggs. Mm. I can eat eggs all day. 